you, I never thought I'd see a sign when I'm going through a, a, a neighborhood or a, a rural town in, in the West or something to see big signs that have a Trump sign in the middle that says F. Biden and having a little kid standing with his middle finger, seven years old, eight years old. Well, I promise it happens all the time. This nation, I just, I, <laughs> sorry. I mean, it's like insane to me that anybody at this point can support this brittle, weak sack of nothingness. I mean, he's empty, vacuous, fumbling, mumbling, stumbling train wreck. But then you've got these Kennedys, the Kennedy family. Oh, my goodness gracious, how they have fallen from grace. The quote unquote so called royal family of America, the Kennedys, going all the way back to the patriarch Joseph Kennedy. And then obviously we had uh, President uh, John F. Kennedy, who was tragically assassinated. And then his brother, uh, Robert F. Kennedy, who was attorney general and then was running for president in 68 and got assassinated. And now we have what I deem the worst. Have you seen this? The worst political ad I've ever seen in my life. It's absolutely abhorrent. Check this out. My name is Joe Kennedy. I'm Carrie Kennedy. Tori Kennedy. I'm Kathleen Kennedy Townsend. Chris Kennedy. And I'm here to proudly endorse Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Our future is on the ballot in a way in which we haven't seen in generations. The only way to win this election is for everybody to go out and vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. When I think of modern politicians in our country in this century, I think Joe Biden is the RFK of his generation. Believes in democracy, believes in human rights, believes in the freedoms. This is a president who embodies the Kennedy legacy. When you think of modern politicians, you compare this fumbling, stumbling train wreck to RFK, Robert F. Kennedy? Excuse me? What? I mean, it, like, it's just, it's just so absolutely boggling. It's bonkers. It just completely destroys the credibility of this entire royal family of America. Wow, have the Kennedys fallen from grace. That is, to me, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, Nez Nation. That is, to me, the worst political ad because it's just the most egregious, undermining every fact that we know about what's happening. You could just see it in their eyes. They don't mean a word of that. There's no way possible if you've got warm human blood coursing through your veins that you, there's no way in a million years that you believe a word of that. It's like the harder Biden tries, the worse it looks. This is the guy you're comparing to RFK? Check this out. Okay, if you have not seen this video right here, everybody remembers Trump showing up in Harlem, kind of unannounced at the bodega, and everybody just going nuts, right? Well, Biden tried to duplicate that in his hometown and watch how ridiculously staged, how obviously inauthentic and just abominable this is. He tries to pretend that he's just showing up to a local shop to order pizza and order. It's so bad. Just watch this. Hey. Hello, sir. I'm good today. Good. How are you doing, man? Good. And how are you doing today? It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet both of you. You got my stuff, This is for you, man. And this is for you, sir. Yes. All right. And this is a tip for you. I know oh. it's all been paid. Thank you so much. Do you mind us with you? Thank you, sir. What's your name? My name is David Johnson. Good to see you, David. Thank you, sir. You know her honor, the mayor. Oh. How are you, David? I'm fine, sir. I'm voting for you, sir. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I gotta check out one thing here. What kind of drinks do you have? So whatever you like, sir, we can customize it to your specifications. So we have smoothies, we have milkshakes, we have refreshers. Completely lost. We also have How about a milkshake? Black and white. A black and white milkshake? We could perfectly make that for you, sir. So if you actually like to, right over there where it says order here, you can order it to your specification again. That includes whipped cream and other toppings as well. All right. All right. Thank you. Perfect. Thank You're you welcome. so much. It's been a pleasure.
Mr. President, I'm gonna Can't close the box. Can. Watch this. Doesn't know how to close a box. Okay, also included drinks for you as well. Just to enjoy. We can take that one. We can take that box. Yeah. I'm gonna go order a okay. milkshake. Lost in space. Did you guys hear any cheers? Did you hear any loud, like, four more years support? He's in his hometown, ladies and gentlemen. He's in his hometown. That is just pitiful. And that's who the Kennedy family is comparing to RFK, to Robert F. Kennedy, one of the icons of the civil rights era, one of the icons of the 60s. You're comparing that bag of atrocity to RFK? Well, let's figure out what's really, really going on here, shall we? Why in the world would the Kennedy family endorse? Here's, here's what I don't understand. Why would the Kennedy family, if they love America and they hate Trump so much, why would they endorse somebody who has completely ruined the economy inflation is out of control he spent all of our oil reserves so now barrels of oil prices have skyrocketed which means it's going to hit the pumps this summer it's going to absolutely skyrocket even more four years ago before trump left office it was under two dollars now it's over five um we've got a border that's completely wide open access criminals rapists people who killed uh, the likes of uh, Lake and Riley and countless others. We've got a department secretary, Mayorkas, who is a tragedy, a national tragedy. Um, we've also got crime out of control. Crime is out of control. Interest rates are still high. Nobody can buy anything, buy cars, buy homes. Um, people can't go to the grocery store and get actually what they need. People have to work two, three jobs just to pay rent. Why in the world, why in the world, would you endorse that? Why in the world would you support this kind of a zeitgeist, this kind of a state of our union right now, which is in complete... So uh, uh, lastly, the globe is in chaos. Uh, uh, Israel just attacked Iran after Iran brazenly attacked uh, uh, Israel not that long ago. We also still have Ukraine out of control, Russia out of control. We've got Syria. We've got all sorts... We still have the Gaza disaster. We still have Hamas disaster. All sorts of disasters going on both domestic and globally. Why would you endorse that? Well, let's check it out. You know what? You know what? You know what your dad used to always say, or whatever your maybe your smart uncle used to always say, follow the money. Check this out. I did some research. The Kennedy family has maintained significant wealth through generations. As of recent estimates, their combined net worth exceeds $1 billion. Let me repeat that. Their combined net worth exceeds $1 billion. On top of that, the family patriarch, Joseph F. Uh, Joseph, F., uh, Joseph P. Kennedy, who built his fortune in various industries, including the stock market, entertainment, real estate, his financial legacy managed through various trusts continues to support his descendants today. All those troglodytes, those swine, those lunkheads in that ad, which is the worst political ad in the history of politics allowing them to live comfortably and continue their involvement in public service and philanthropy. They don't give a rat's ass about our country. They have no relativity. They can't relate to any American what we're going through at the pump, at the grocery store, with our mortgages, with our rent, with interest rates, our fear of going outside, taking our kids to the park, taking our kids anywhere because crime is up everywhere. Illegal uh, migrant criminal thug cartel, drug gang members everywhere. They don't have to worry about that. They have their own private security. They're living in neighborhoods where nothing... It's the same thing with Bill Maher. So out of touch. 
these out-of-touch millionaire and billionaires, Mark Cuban too, who's championing DEI. Of course he's championing DEI. Why? Because this is the kind of stuff that can't touch the top 1%. It affects us. It affects us. So of course they're going to uh, support Biden. Why? Because none of this stuff affects them. None of this stuff affects them. And they actually think it looks good to toe the party line, no matter how unrecognizable, no matter how far left, no matter how demonic that party line looks and their party looks. So I throw this off to you, Nez Nation. Why are you doing this video, Nez? It's kind of obvious. You're a smart, sophisticated audience. Uh, Nez Nation, of course, you already know all this stuff, but there's a lot of people who actually don't. They actually take that endorsement seriously. Well, if the Kennedys, oh, isn't that John F. Kennedy? Isn't John F. Kennedy one of the one of the best presidents we've ever had? Well, I mean, they're not stupid, right? They're related to him, so maybe I should vote. There's actual people who think like this, Nez Nation. They don't use their sovereignty, their critical thinking, their critical discernment, because literally everything that I just did, Nez Nation, is based on the rhetorical principles of Aristotle, audience, purpose, message. By dissecting and exercising critical discernment, you get to the truth of the matter as to why these people endorse this atrocity, which is the current administration. So share this out. Share this out with everybody you know. Tap the thumbs up so we can get a wider reach. You have to tap that thumbs up. It's free. It takes you a nanosecond. Just do it right now. Tap it. So we can get the word out there and get our country back because this kind of insanity, people don't second think. They do what's in what psychologists call uh, association, uh, memory, uh, 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 unconscious association, which essentially means as soon as they hear the name Kennedy, they associate the American Camelot, the American royalty, they associate John F. Kennedy, they associate Robert F. Kennedy without thinking without, well, if they're going to endorse Biden, so we have to share this out. You have to tap the thumbs up. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I'd love to hear uh, everything you have to say. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, as always, I try really hard to respond to all the comments, but it's physically impossible. So uh, members get first priority. Consider becoming a member. It only costs you one cup of coffee to support this channel for an entire month. One cup of coffee. You spend more than that at Starbucks every single day in 10 seconds. One cup of coffee a month. That's all it costs to become a member. You also get exclusive badges. We have our exclusive Discord for members only. You'll see that in a members only post. Exclusive content, shout outs, priority comments, responses the whole nine yards. So make sure you uh, become a member. Uh, also, if you made it this far, don't forget to become a Nez Nation Insider. It's our free newsletter, the Nez Nation Insider newsletter. It's free in the pinned comment and in the description and show notes. Just click on that link, click on the option for free newsletter. Give us your best email, bada boom, you're in. Check out these videos coming up on the screen right now. I just posted these very recently. As always, Nez Nation, I love you. God bless you. We just passed 200,000 subscribers. I love you guys, and God bless America. I'll see you soon.